We are back getting down and dirty expeditiously. Today, we here at Teaching with Taylor. And we're gonna dive into how to start a food page on Instagram. Okay, so shout out to today's sponsor. Villain France liqueur. Oh, hello. All right, so if you see me sipping on some Villain France, I mix it with some lemonade. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mix it with some limonada. Because we had to get down and dirty with those. Actually, okay, so today we're going to start from scratch. Making a new Instagram food blog. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Taylor Ojas. I'm a restaurant consultant, creative consultant. I am the owner of EBN TV, production company distributed by Roku. I also work with a bunch of different brands, Bel Air, Villain France, Bamboo. Empanada Mama, Waynesburg Pizza. I've thrown several events. I run an agency for creators. I run a booking agency for photographers. I am a creative that's trying to put money in creators' pockets and trying to teach y'all how to put money in your own pockets through creative currency. Today, I'm gonna to show y'all how to get your foot in the game when it comes to this food blogging stuff. Now, people love eating food and people look at me as a person that is an inspiration of monetizing their life, as well as starting a food production company, as well as monetizing off of being in this industry. So I'm a person that, you know, I'm not a gatekeeper. I'll spread the sugar. I'll spread the wealth. You know, so, so let's, let's start from numero uno, and then we'll, we'll take it from there. We'll keep going, and you can go along this grind with me. All right, so we're starting a new food page for the show I have coming out with Zaif, who is the owner of Eyes on Magazine. Okay, we're doing a show called We Here to Eat, which is going to be available on EBN TV on Roku. So you can go and check that show out. We've been interviewing chefs, interviewing restaurant owners, eating food, making jokes. It's good vibes over here, the EBN way. You know what I'm saying? So let's start it off. So let's dive right in. Let's dive right in, y'all. We have Instagram. Okay, we're starting a new food blog today. Now, we're going to be starting the new Instagram for We Here to Eat. Make sure you guys check that show out on Roku. It'll also be available on YouTube. And, you know, I'll show you guys how to start a YouTube channel as well. This is going to be across all the socials. So I'm kind of using a real life example because, you know, I already have my own food blog. But now we're starting a whole conglomerate with me and, and Zafe anyway. So, you know, I was like, you know what? Let's use this as a teaching moment because we teach it with Taylor. With Villain France. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Villain France. This, thing, this, thing, this joint is smooth. I'm telling you. This joint is smooth. Nina, get you some lemonade. Now, if you know something about me, I love me the lemons. Limonada. Let me some good lemonade, okay? So, you got to make sure you start your Instagram. In case you don't know, you got to have you a good Gmail as well. Get you an email or something that you can attach to the Instagram to because when you're making the Instagram, you got to make sure you have the ability to be able to have a counter information attached and they're gonna send you a confirmation code and all that good stuff. Okay, I already made the email, we here to eat. If you guys have any inquiries you wanna to send to us, we here to eat at gmail.com. That's the email I made in correspondent of this Instagram. Tap it in again, down and dirty. We have the new Instagram and they gave you a bunch of suggestions to stand at third, okay? So with here, now you got a bio and you can add a logo, highlights, Got posts, saved, tagged, this, that, and there. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna we're gonna continue to go through these steps to make an Instagram from scratch, food blog Instagram from nothing, from air, <sighs> thin air. Okay, so let's let's get a little bio going. Right here's where we can throw in AI. Now, if you if you don't know about AI. You got to go tap in. It's 2024 as I'm recording this video right now. AI has been taking over the world. But if you're not hip, you got to get hip because it actually does help you in efficiency and just making things go faster. Okay, so let's let's just try it out. Right, We already, we already have some stuff here. You know, I was looking at some, some different YouTube titles that I can title the videos for you guys. Right. But we are on chat GPT. Let's type in Instagram bio for food blog. But really, the more specific you can get with this stuff on CapCut, the better your results will be, right? But let's just say that. Let's say Instagram bio for food blog uh, 
between Taylor Elijas and Izon Magazine. Let's just see what comes up. Here's an Instagram bio idea for a food blog collaboration between Taylor Elijas and Izon Magazine. Food culture and flavor with Taylor Elijas x Izon Magazine. Serving up delicious bites, food stories, and culinary trends. Let's just see. Let's copy that. See how that works in the bio. Okay. We can throw that in there. Maybe, maybe just clip that. Boom. Add a little plate emoji. Okay, cool. And then let's 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 maybe do a we here to eat hashtag. Okay. Boom. And we're at 139 characters. So that did pretty good, right? First try, cap cut. Gotta tap in cap cut pretty good. You know. Uh, gender. Let's just throw the male in there. We're both males. Okay. Uh, no, no confusing there. With the website, we're gonna also tap into the mobile because I want to switch to professional account from the personal. So that's where we're gonna be able to access our insights and get down and dirty with the analytics because analytics is very important. Okay, I know a lot of people may not wanna really talk about how, you know, you need data, but you need data. Okay, that's how you get sponsorships. That's how you get people to pay you. You need data. You can't just base it off of like, oh yeah, I have cool visuals because as a marketing person myself, you gotta make sure you have the, the, the data and the analytics and the insights because other marketing people that work for these restaurants they're going to ask for that, not just because you have cool photos. If you don't get no shares, you don't get no engagement, you don't get no likes, you don't get no conversions, no traffic. You don't deserve to get paid and you got to work harder to be able to provide that value so that people want to pay you. you know that? Let's just give it a good, a good little reload. All right, got a, good, got a nice little bio here now. All right, food, culture, and flavor with Taylor Jazz X Izon Magazine. Serving up delicious bites, food stories, and culinary trends. All right. Now... I want to get a logo going. Let's get a logo going. All right. So in case you guys don't know about this website, now me personally, I don't use Photoshop, but shout out to Adobe. If you guys want to provide me with some Photoshop, I'll, I'll use Photoshop. I'll use it. If you want to provide me with the Photoshop, I'll use it, but I don't have it. All right. So we have the free version, Photop. In case you don't know about Photop, this is where I get my edits going. This is where I get down and dirty with the edits because it, it, it's pretty similar to Photoshop. All right. If you know Photoshop, you can use Photo P. Even if you don't know Photoshop, you can use Photo P. All right, free application. You can literally type it in to Google, Microsoft Edge, whatever you use, and you're in there. Tell you. So let's kind of pull up this logo here. Uh, you know, you got got different kind of templates you can utilize stuff like that. But this is going to be what we're using for the logo on the Instagram, right? Because you don't want to just have that that weird user picture, right? That pre-generated thing. Okay, so me and Zave did a photo shoot of the day to just have some, some content and so I could be able to make a logo for not only this video, but just be able to get some more content on the page. You wanna make sure you have content on your food blog, right? Don't start a new anything if you're not willing to put any effort into keeping it going for a long period of time, right? This is a waste of your time. You have to be willing to start this to know that you may not make money for a good year. I didn't get paid for my first food review for months, I'd probably say that. the first thing that's coming to my mind is six months. The first time I actually got a bunch of free food, like I said, I started 2017, my food blog, but my ex-girlfriend at the time was the one paying for all the food for real. So took a break for like a couple of years. And then when I kind of dove back into it, I interviewed Mikey Pomodoro. They used to be at Urban Space. And then they also gave me food for me to review and that was kind of the first time I got got into it, right? And then I started interviewing owners of restaurants and stuff like that. But then on top of that, I would bring these multiple cameras to do a three camera setup. And I was doing the show on Roku where I'm, you know, eating the food. I would do it with Empanada Mama, Tipsy Scoop. I did a bunch of places, right? But ultimately I wasn't getting paid for it. I was doing it for the love of it. But then there was people in this space that are getting paid to do way less than I was doing, right? And one thing that one day really it clicked to me what I was doing and why I was working harder and not smarter, right? So I went to Buatai in Manhattan and I had, I think, two to three cameras with me, right? I had two to three cameras with me and I saw another foodie with their friend and they 
were also eating free food. And the people, the owners of the restaurant were kind of boasting about how the fact that, you know, they have a lot of foodies that come and record videos and that's a lot of their social media. If you check out Bua Thai uh, Ramen Grill, Robata Ramen Grill, something like that on Instagram, a lot of their videos is mainly influencers, foodie creators, you know, and they were getting the same amount of free food as me. I didn't get paid to do that video, right? They're getting the same amount of free food as me. They have a, a kind of set amount of food they give people and stuff like that. So there's those creators that come with just their light and their phone and not only do they get free food, but they also get paid and they're doing way less than me. And I was coming with multiple cameras to create a whole experience, but I wasn't getting paid for it. So I realized I was working harder, not smarter. And it's nothing wrong with working hard and grinding. I feel like I grind a lot, but you also got to work smart. And I was not working smart. To kind of jump back into this as well, we have making this logo, right? So once again, you got to find your style. So ultimately, that was my style at the time. But that's not what was providing value to them in their mind at, at the time, right? I can jump into that type of content again and provide value in that way. But at the time, that's not what was providing the value or what they saw uh, the traffic off of the most because a lot of these food creators don't do the type of stuff that I do or me and Zave do where we're creating a whole show out of it but now we both have the analytics and the, and the stripes in the food game he has a lot of Google Maps analytics as well as his own profile of visits through his magazine which is digital as well as you know I have my own platforms TikTok, YouTube, Instagram I have my own magazine Even Eats magazine as well and stuff like that. So you got to make sure you have the analytics and insights because people are going to ask you, why should we pay you? Oh, you, you got nice pictures. You took it with a phone or you have a camera. Okay, cool. Do you have insights and analytics that show that you convert? You got to convert. Okay. So let's make this logo real quick and get into it so we can load that up. Okay. So we have, like I said, a photo shoot me and Zafe did the other day. So that's what's going to serve as his logo. And we may end up updating it again. The show isn't going to actually air till like October, right? But I want to make sure we got something, got something going. Okay. I know you see, you see your boy. <laughs> you see your boy. You know, hey, we go, okay, look at the good background. You know, I think we both look at swag delicious. Okay. Zay wants to do another photo shoot, but nothing wrong, nothing wrong with content. Nothing wrong with getting good up content, right? Nothing wrong with getting good up content. So really... You know, I just cropped that real quick. I hit the C, C button. And you gotta you gotta learn the keyboard commands as well to make things go faster. You wanna be an efficient editor, right? I love I love editing, but if I did not know a lot of the key commands, I would definitely be going way too slow and it would make editing unbearable. Cause I love editing, but damn, you know, when you're really trying to lock in to make some dope stuff, it can take you forever. And as a real creative, you know, I I take my time with stuff, you know, like I want to make sure that the product is, is truly enjoyable for not only you guys as the viewer, but for me, like I love to watch my own content. You know, I, I love to, if I, if I truly can't enjoy my own content, what's going to make me feel like you guys would enjoy my content, right? So whatever I make, I love to be able to rewatch it. You know, I love, I love uh, watch time. I love replay value, you know, you got to have, got to have all these things in your content, in my opinion, to be a successful content creator, right? So I wouldn't say this is the most convoluted logo in the world, but we got a dope photo shoot. I put the text, we're here to eat and let's just, let's throw this in the export, right? Let's export this and let's, let's kind of just get, get a logo up there. And, you know, we, we, as we take this journey, I'm sure the logo will end up changing at some point as well, right? But we're just kind of doing a little one, two, so you guys can see a, a little start to finish process of making a food blog. Because what you want to do, right? Everybody and their moms want to eat food and get paid for it. But you got to start somewhere. Every Everything starts somewhere, right? You got to start somewhere to be able to build and grow. You know, if you're not willing to start then you're, you're never gonna be able to get anywhere in life if you're just not willing to start. You gotta start to be able to grow. And you have to be willing to grow. Some people don't wanna go through what may be seemed, may seem as a, as a, you know, may seem to be a 
starting period, which can be embarrassing, I guess, to start. And people view you, uh, see the fact that you're just starting, right? But now we're here, boom. We're here to eat, okay? Good logo, good starting point. And we got a bio, we got a logo. Now, let's get a post up. So now we're in the mobile with it. Okay, once again, shout out to Villain France. Good lemonade. Lemonade mixed with a lot of things. It's usually gonna go crazy. <laughs> in case you ain't know. And also go shout out, shout out to uh, Mental Swagger, okay? What are you willing to sacrifice to achieve your goals? All right, sometimes you gotta sacrifice something to be able to achieve in life, garner success. It's hard, but sometimes you gotta do it, all right? But we, we on the mobile version now. All right, I wanted to also tweak the picture a little bit, okay? I wanted to tweak the picture a little bit, give it a little bit more size. Okay, I want to zoom in a little bit. So now we're, now we're on mobile. I'm here with it, zoomed in, bang. I also added a little sharpening in the library and whatnot, okay? So now, let that load a little bit. While that loads, pinky up. Make sure you throw that pinky up. Yes, sir. But now, let's go to switch to professional account. Professional account, you learn more about your followers, get insights about your followers, see how your post performing, reach more people. All right, create promotions, get new contact options. There is a benefit to, to having a professional account, right? And now they give you a bunch of categories, give you a bunch of categories that you can pick from, right? So they got personal blogs, they got restaurant, photographer, video creator. I feel like I want to go with, I want to go with, so I... On my personal page, Taylor, E-L-A-J-A-S, I have it as restaurant consultant. And I think I might go with food consultant here. I think I might go with food consultant here because we both do consult in the food space. So why not, All right? So business creator, I'd rather go creator. Now we're in that creator account, professional account. Now we can see our analytics once we get that post up all right you can go through all these things if you want to get inspired start following other people and stuff like that uh, you can invite your contacts introduce yourself create a post which you're going to do momentarily and you know you can explore them insights and ads and all that we don't got a post up so but it doesn't really matter what would you like to see more of let's say reach and media engagement uh, messages and leads, how to connect new people. Okay. We'll use this information to help you achieve your goals. Instagram, I guess, is trying to let you know that they're they're down to, to, to help you out. Who knows? And then you can get into to learning how ads work in case you don't know. All right, cool. So now we're going to get a good post up. All right, now we're going to get a post up with some pictures. And I'm also going to show you guys a website, right, where you can get Instagram hashtags, in case you find it difficult to arrive at these hashtags that you can put in the comment section. Because, you know, if you listen to the Instagram CEO and you don't want to put hashtags then in, in the description or in the comment section, then do that. You know, but me personally, I'd rather still use hashtags. I've had a lot of success with hashtags across my pages to this day and throughout my duration of doing digital marketing. Right, so but a lot of what works on Instagram nowadays is keywords and SEO. So you definitely should include keywords and SEO in your description. However, I also will do both. I'm gonna mix it up with SEO. I'm also mix it up with the hashtags, and I'm gonna get crazy with those. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the screen recording again. So we recently did an episode at Jamaica Grand on Lexington Avenue in Manhattan, newly owned restaurant, delicious, fire. You gotta watch the episode when it drops, okay? But we got some codfish fritters here, all right? So we're gonna throw a nice little carousel on this mug as the first post. And we got the jerk barbecue wings. Now I'm telling you, the jerk barbecue wings were delicious, delicious, delectable, okay? 
Look at these pictures, though. I'm just just even by these pictures alone, you could tell there was some deliciousness going on <laughs> during that episode. So you gotta watch it. I'm telling you. Even that that side sauce on this jerk barbecue wings. Mwah. I'm telling you. All right. Now, typically I'd have my photographer kind of go ahead and edit these a little more, but I'm gonna just do a little little touch ups real quick. Get get my get in my bag with the, with the highlights and whatnot. Add some sharpening. You know. This is also why Instagram has their editing, editing feature. You can you can you can get dirty with those. Saturate that John a little bit. Mm. Okay, yes. So I think I'm done with that. We got the jerk jerk barbecue wings. Let me see if some contrast going to do to that. Uh, do a little bit on there. Add some warmth. A little bit of warmth. Feel like the saturation. Go throw it. Go throw it in there. Yeah. Get some saturation in there. Okay, we're doing a little quick edits real quick before we throw this carousel up. And I also already pre-put together a, a description. Oh yeah, that sharpening is really bringing in the the moistness on the wings. I'm telling you, them wings, the jerk barbecue. You, if you ever find yourself near Lexington Avenue in Manhattan, you got to go to Jamaica Grand. Mwah. And you got to watch that episode. Okay, so we could also throw music if you want to, but right now we're not going to do that. Like I said, I have me a good caption. I'm going to copy-paste. Right. And here's another thing, right? You want to also have call to actions. So on my EV Eats page, I throw call to actions where it's like, oh, would you eat here? I'm, I'm big on that. Like, oh, would you eat here? So that, that makes somebody want to tap in. Or which slide was your favorite? Or which side looks better? Or which one would you order? Right. So let's, 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 let's do that one. Right. Which one would, which dish would you order? Which dish would you order? Right. Because you want to, you want to do call to actions that you can also include in your polls. So just, Increases the engagement, right? So you got codfish fritters, and you got the jerk barbecue wings, right? So that's a that's a great that's a great way to get some engagement and get the interaction from from the audience. All right, so the SEO that's here, you got the restaurant, we got appetizers, we got food, we got the name of the food, we got location, we got tune into We Here to Eat available on EBN TV on Roku. Got to tap in, and you got the host, and you got a hashtag. I like to have hashtags that are associated with the page. So that if anyone else wants to contribute content, now it's a branded hashtag. You wanna make sure that you're putting together not just a blog and not just an Instagram page, but a brand. Cause that's how you're gonna make money, by branding yourself. You have to be a brand. That is how you're gonna make money. All right, so I'm gonna just invite EB and East as a collaborator cause it was one of my photographers in this picture. I'm not gonna accept the collaboration right now, but at some point I probably will, All right? So let's go Jamaica. Jamaica Grand, right? It might be the same place. It might be the same place. Jamaica NYC. Make sure you go check them out. Quite delicious food, I'm telling you. We could ask the music, like I said, if you wanted to, but we're not going to do that just as yet. But I want to throw the post up so you guys can see what we got going on. First carousel. And that's really how you get it done, all right? From start to finish, you make the Instagram, get you a Gmail, get you a, a email provider, or Yahoo, whatever you got going on. Get your bio going. You can use ChatGPT to help you out with that. Make sure you got a logo. Make sure you know what you're trying to post, how you're trying to post it, right? Make sure you're arriving at a personality, a brand. Put it together, right? This is not just an Instagram. This is about to be your life, your passion, okay? Passion produces profit when you pursue it passionately. Ooh, that was off the top, okay? Great pictures. Lastly, let's get into these hashtags. One of these websites that you can utilize to get some hashtags is called Display Purposes. All right, so Display Purposes is a website that used to be free. Ain't free no more, man. But a lot of these websites know that they're providing a dope service and they're helping you guys out and helping creators out in general. So they wisened up. <laughs> they wisened up. They're like, yeah, we was giving this out for free, but now we have a lot of users. So I think. And we're going to start charging y'all. <laughs> so now you only got a three-day trial to use these bugs. You know what I'm saying? But there's another one when we get into the YouTube side of things that you can get hashtags that's still free. Right? But that's a whole different video for a different day. Right now we're on Instagram. Display purposes. You can utilize this one, right? So they, they, they even added some AI where it's like, you know, you put in the caption. This wasn't even my caption, but, you know, I just put a plain thing. I said, we just had great food at Jamaica Grand Manhattan. We're here to eat. And guess what? They gave us a bunch of hashtags. They gave you the amount of posts that's in it. 
the daily posts, the average likes, and the average comments. This is exquisite data. Okay, this is exquisite data. You can copy this text and you can you can throw it in the comment section of your video. Excuse me, comment section of your post. Right. So me personally, I'm big on dropping it in the in the comment section as opposed to the you know as opposed to the caption itself you know I, I and I, you see me doing these dots because when I post it you will only be able to see it if you're scrolling down your feed but it'll actually just come up as a bubble and you won't see the caption, right? Or excuse me, if you're scrolling down your feed, it, you won't see the captions. If you were to go into the comment section, that's where you see the captions at, right? You can use up to 30, but we're not gonna even go that deep right now. I just wanna kinda just show you guys the power of what's what's going on here, right? One, two, three, four, five. I'll, I'll throw like one more in there. All right, let's get like one more in there. Like I said, you do wanna look at that competition score. You wanna look at how many posts is in there. Savor the flavor. That seems like a good one. Save the flavor, right? Boom. Let's throw that one in there. Bow. Now we got six. We got six good hashtags. And when somebody were to scroll, somebody were to scroll down, they wouldn't even see all the hashtags until they go into the comments. And now you see good insights. And you're getting down dirty with those. And now you're on the way to a food blog. We got, what was that, five steps? I showed you how you can make a logo. I show you how to start the Instagram, getting the post up, getting some hashtags, get some visibility, make your bio. The journey has just begun, but you're going to make some money because you're going to start now and you're going to keep going, right? It don't stop here. And shout out to Villain France for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Villain France with the lemonade. Pinky up, you know, make sure. You subscribe to the channel because teaching with Taylor ain't stopping. I'm here to teach you things. If you wanted more tutorials, you want to learn specific things, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you share this with a friend that wants to be a food blogger. Make sure you share this with a friend that wants to create a creative empire. That's what I did. EBN TV. And I'm helping you out too because I want us to all be a part of this creative world that is a billion dollar industry, y'all. You just gotta find your way in this month. We getting down and dirty expeditiously. Woo! My guy Taylor's in the building. He's a YouTube superstar, Instagram content creator. What else do you do, sir? Hey, you know, I, I get down and dirty expeditiously. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I got expeditiously. You. Expeditiously.